This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D Toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number nine. Today, we're going to be concentrating on the Move tool, which is the tool that allows you to move things in SketchUp. But it does a lot more than that. The Move tool is also my preferred way of copying things in SketchUp, and I'll show you that when we get into it. But keep in mind that, as with all the other tools, the Move tool has a lot of power, but it's really quite easy to use. So let me show you how. So I'm just going to head into my move tool project I've got going here. And uh, you can see it's pretty simple, uh, just two cubes, different sizes, and we're going to start moving these guys around. So the first thing you need to know about the move tool, as usual, is where exactly it's located. And it is up here among uh, these other tools, uh, push-pull tools right next to it by default. Uh, and it's the one with, it kind of looks like a crosshairs almost. It says move and copy when you hover over it. It can be found either here in the toolbar or over here in the tool palette. Or, and as always, you know I'm a glutton for keyboard shortcuts. I always try to use the keyboard shortcut, which is M for move. Just type M, goes you into the move tool. And you can see that the cursor uh, looks pretty much like the same crosshairs, except it's kind of black. And... You can see that with the move tool, I can you know, hover over things to select one thing, and I can grab this and move it all around, but this is getting a little bit weird. I don't really like to do that. Instead, what I like to do is I like to use the selection tool first. So remember, space bar to go into the selection tool. And now I can click on things, select them, and then go into the move tool and adjust them that way. So for example, let's start by... Uh, selecting this entire box here. I want to move this box. Well, I can do that either by uh, triple clicking somewhere in the box. That'll select everything connected to that box. Or I could draw a marquee around it, a selection marquee from either side. This way would be a little bit better because it will only select things that entirely are contained in it. Check out our episode on the selection tool if you don't know what this means. Um, but now, one way or another, I've got the entire box selected. Everything is that kind of blue thing now. And now I can start moving it. So I go into the Move tool, and you can see when I click once, now it's moving the entire thing. It moves whatever is selected. And these things don't even need to be connected. If I were to you know, select things that were on separate sides of the model, not connected, have them selected at the same time, go into the Move tool, they would move uh, with each other regardless of whether they're connected or not so it's just whatever is selected and you can see I'm just moving moving my cursor around and you can see there's a nice little dotted line that kinda acts as a little guide it starts at the point uh, where the, your object began and it ends wherever your cursor is now so you can always just kinda t you know see that as a guide and bring it back to where it was if you want so I'm moving this around. Now let's say I want to place it here. I can just click once and it places it. But let's say I want a little bit more control over this. Well, as with all the drawing tools, I can lock the move tool to an axis. And remember the axis are the blue, red, and green lines in the model. Uh, red and green are the side to side and back and forth, depending on your perspective. And the blue is the vertical. So what I can do is I can click somewhere on the object and I can lock it to uh, an axis by tapping one of the arrow keys. The left arrow key will lock me into the green axis. So now no matter where I put my cursor, the box only moves along that green axis. And you can see the dotted line turns green to let me know. Or I can hit the right arrow key to lock me into the red axis. I can also hit either the up or the down arrow keys to move me up and down. And if I want to get out of the axis locking mode, I can just tap whatever arrow key I've previously hit, just tap it again. And I'm now free roaming. So I can lock it to the green axis and move it from side to side right over to here. That looks pretty good. 
But let's say I want even greater control. Let's say I don't want control over just where it's moving, but how much it's moving. Well, our good old friend, the measurements box down at the bottom right hand corner has now turned to the length box. So if I click on something, start moving it, you can see it's telling me how far away from its original position it's being shifted. So let's lock it into the red axis this time. Let's move it back and forth like this. Let's say I want to move it back two feet. All I have to do is just type in two apostrophe. Remember the apostrophe makes it feet and hit enter and it moves it in that direction. Now an important thing to note is where you're moving it when you do these kinds of measurements uh, or movements, I'm sorry. If I were to start moving it, for example, towards me and typed in two feet, it would move it two feet towards me. But if I were to move it away from me and type in the same exact thing, two feet, boom, it moves it away from me. Move it, start moving it in the direction you want it to go and then type in your number. And that's the same of the move tool, all of the drawing tools as well. It's very, it's really very smart the way they've had it set up. So that's very nice, but uh, let's say, <laughs> you know, I'm a control hog, so let's say I want even greater control of where it's going. Let's say I want to start utilizing these snapping controls that SketchUp integrates so well. Well, I'll just select the box and let's say Let's say I want this box to move right up against this cube here. Let's say I want this box's point, this corner right here, to line up perfectly with this corner right here. How can I do that? Well, I could just you know, grab it and move it over, but it's not really snapping to anything. Not very well, at least. It, that's not really exactly where I want it. It's pretty difficult. Well, that's because I'm not really doing it correctly. You can just click somewhere, anywhere in the object, say it's on a face or a line or whatever, and move it that way. That'll work fine if you're doing like basic back and forth movements. But if you want to have even greater control, remember that it's only your cursor that snaps. So for example, I want this corner to line up with this corner. That means I would click on this corner. And you can see my tool actually will snap to that endpoint right there click once and now I've kind of it's kind of like when you grab something it depends on where you grab it I've now grabbed it on that corner and I can now move it over and remember you can still use your navigation tools as you're moving something it's really useful if you're moving it across big distances in the model you won't lose your grip and now I can just get close to that corner and it snaps to that corner as well now I can click let it go use the selection tool and click somewhere off in space to deselect everything and you can see perfectly flush on all sides that's exactly where I wanted it so that's very nice but the move tool is even more powerful than that the move tool you'll notice if I hover over it up here you notice that it says move and copy so how does copying work in SketchUp well let's say I wanted to create a duplicate of this box here. Well, for one thing, the copy and paste commands that you're used to in things like text editors and web browsers still work in SketchUp. I can select this box and then do Command C or Control C on a PC to copy it. I can also do it from the menu bar if I like. And then just Command or Control V to paste. And you can see that it automatically switches me into the Move tool and I can now place this thing uh, wherever I want. That works pretty well, but you'll notice I don't have any control over where I've grabbed it. In fact, I don't seem to have actually grabbed it anywhere. I can't really lock it in anywhere. I don't really like to use the copy and paste function, so I'm just going to cancel this. It, remember, if you're in the middle of, a com of doing something, like moving something or drawing something, and you don't want to have to click to set it down and then undo, you can always just, while you're still moving it around, just hit the escape key and that will cancel any action that you're doing right now. So now that we've figured that out, let's try this again. This time I'm going to just use the move tool again. But of course, if I click on this corner and just drag this box around, it doesn't copy it, it just moves it. I need to switch into the copy tool first. Now the copy tool is the move tool. 
It's a little bit confusing, but if you tap the Option key while you're in the Move tool, just hit Option once, you can see my cursor gets a little plus symbol next to it. And now, if I click on this corner and drag, look at that, I pull an exact duplicate of that object away, and now I have I'm grabbing it at the same exact point that I grabbed the original object at that little corner. So I can now snap this corner over here, deselect it, and you can see just like before, it's lined up perfectly. And of course you can use the same things where you lock the axis. So for example, I could select this box, use the copy tool, and I could lock it to the axis and move it just like this settle it right up against it. I could drag a copy above, sort of build like a little little mini Rubik's Cube almost. Maybe I select this entire thing and drag a copy over here. And let's say maybe I want to select this whole thing. These things aren't even connected. Remember this and this, they aren't connected, but because I have them both selected, I can drag a copy of their, their sort of arrangement like this, for example. So the Move and Copy tool is very, very powerful. It's a really good way to move things and copy things in SketchUp. Uh, you can use the Copy and Paste command if you want, but I really do prefer uh, to use the Move tool. And there you have it. That's the Move tool for you. As you can see, it really is a very nice little tool. It's very similar to the way you interact with physical objects in the real world. You choose a point at which you want to grab something, you grab it, you move it to where you want to move it, and you let it go. Very easy, very easy to grasp and understand. Now, until next time, you can visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. There you can download lesson files, participate in the forums, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions or comments for me, you can leave me an email at harwoodpodcast at comcast.net. Until next time, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling.